Hello everyone, Omnish and Wolf here. Thanks for joining the Wolfpack. Today I'll be bringing you a special tutorial on how to play Sega Master System, Sega Game Gear, Sega Genesis 32X, and Sega CD games online through Netplay emulation. So let's get right into it. The first thing you'll want to do is download the latest version of the Kiga Fusion emulator. The second thing you'll want to do, and the most important step, is to ensure that you and your friend have the same exact ROM. I would suggest that you both download the ROM from the same website. In this case we'll be using the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Movie ROM for Sega Genesis. In this case you'll want to click on File, Load Genesis 32X ROM. From here you'll select your ROM. Next for Netplay you click on File, Netplay, and if you're joining someone else's game, you would choose Join Netplay Game. From here, the only requirement is that you set a nickname for yourself, and your friend should pass you their IP address. This is what you would put under Server. You would then hit Join. If you'd like to create a Netplay session, you would click on Start Netplay Game. For the most part, the default settings should work well. However, you may adjust your settings to optimize your gaming experience. When you're done tinkering with the settings, if at all, you would then click on create to start a server. As you can see, we're currently waiting for players. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm using a second computer to connect. Connection will be made in 3, 2, 1, now. As you can see, we have a second player, Omni Gaming. In parentheses is their pain. As you can see, the ping is really low since both computers are right next to each other. Of course, let's not forget that in order for your friend to connect to you, you have to provide them with your IP address. On a Mac, the way to find this out would be to go to your Apple, System Preferences, Network, my IP address will be indicated right here. Now it's important to note that this setup will work out of the box if the host is connected directly through an internet cable. However, in a lot of cases, the host will be connected wirelessly through a router. In this case, he or she will have to open a port, specifically port 5394 type UDP. In order to do so, you will have to log into your wireless router. Once again, to find this information, you'll click on the Apple icon, System Preferences, Network, Click on Advanced, and under the TCP slash IP tab, you'll find your router's IP address. You will type this in your web browser, and you'll be redirected to the login screen. Typically, the username will be admin, unless you changed it, and you would then put in your password. Once you're logged in, you'll want to click on Advanced Settings, and once again, make your way to the Advanced Settings. Opening a port is also called port forwarding. Here, you'll want to create a new rule. As you can see, I already have one set up. For the name, I set it as Genesis. This could be whatever you'd like. IP address would be the IP address of your computer and not your router. Once again, you would find this under the Apple, System Preferences, Network, and right over here. For public and private ports, you'll want to put in 5394 for beginning and end. Lastly, for traffic type, you would choose UDP. You would then save your changes and reboot your router. The way to open a port on your router might differ depending on the model of your router. If you aren't sure how to proceed, you may want to visit the website portforward.com. I will have the specific link in the description box pointing you in the right direction. Now that we have everything set up, let's test it out. As you can see, we have two player modes selected. Let's move on past the character selection phase. And as you can see, we can both move around freely as we wish. Run. And there you have it. As a bonus, if you want to chat between one another while in game, you could do so by hitting on tab and then typing your message. Unfortunately, this message appears on screen for about a couple of seconds, so you might want to keep it short. 
There you have it. This was a very brief tutorial on how to play retro Sega games online through Netplay via the Kega Fusion emulator. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Of course, feel free to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Omnition Wolf here, signing off. Thanks again for joining the Wolf Pack, and until next time, how? Oh.